This is lethal. Whoa, whoa! Get out of here, bitch! Monuments! The monuments! <laughs> What's going on guys, it's that Aussie, your favourite Aussie in Magic Jenkins. How are you going today? I hope you're doing well as always. Today on the channel, we're playing Monumental Meme. We are playing Forsaken Monument in Standard. And look, it's a bit of a meme. <laughs> Trying to find the right shell um, to play Monument in is very hard. Uh, we definitely don't have enough support with artifacts to play full, uh, like a full, uh, colorless deck. It needs to be like one, like mono blue, uh, or mono black or mono red. Definitely not green and definitely not white. Um, so we decided to play it in a shambling gas, deadly dispute, blood on the snow shell, um, uh, because it's, kind of the safest shell, to be honest. Um, you know, it helps you survive against creatures because this deck struggles against mono white as most other creature decks do. Um, you know, it just needs the defense to back it up. Um, but, you know, the deck performed pretty well. Uh, we, When we hit Monument, it's fantastic. But the Shuffler has this thing where it just doesn't like drawing Monuments. I think it does that with some cards. Some cards, you know, you put in your deck that never usually get run and you'll never see them just because I don't, I'm, I don't know. But basically what the monument does is when it enters the battle, so when it's on the field, it gives you a colorless creatures plus two plus two. Whenever you tap colorless mana, you get an additional colorless mana. So your barons, your field of ruin, your access tunnel, they all tap for two. And whenever you cast a colorless spell, you gain two life. So it's an awesome card when it hits the battlefield. We want to get it out early with the Shamblin Gas Deadly Dispute combo. And then just start playing all our colorless creatures. We Okay, we'll start with the colorless creatures. We've got Patchwork Automaton, which you, you guys have probably seen this card around. Awesome card. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Um, two mana with Ward 2 means it's very, very, very hard to kill. Especially when it starts growing it's against a red deck, it's almost impossible to kill. Black decks, you know, don't have too much of a problem. Um, but still, it's you can't kill it till like turn three usually, which is really, really good. Um, then we've got uh, three drops. We've got Circuit Mender because when it enters, you gain two. And when it leaves, you draw a card. Now, the reason why this card is good is because when it says when it leaves, not when it is destroyed or not when it is exiled. When it leaves, so if they bounce it, you draw a card. If they exile it, you draw a card. If they kill it, you draw a card. You draw a card in all instances. Very, very, very cool card. Um, our next three drop um, doesn't seem good in itself. It's a three mana, one, one flyer. And that when it enters, it creates a one, one colorless spirit token. But why this is good is because if you have a monument on the field, this is a three mana three mana three three flyer that makes you another three three so it's insane value if you have the monument myriad construct uh another card you've probably never seen um so it's a four mana four four enters the battlefield with a one one counter on it for each non-basic land your opponent's control if it was kicked its kicker is three so that's for seven but the real best part about this card is its second ability when it becomes the target of a spell, you sacrifice it and you create a number of 1-1 one, one colorless construct artifact creature tokens equal to its power. So if it's a 4-4 four, four on, on normal rate and they target it with a Fading Hope or anything, it just disassembles into 4 one ones. You can see how this is very, very, very strong with Forsaken Monument. Imagine if you have a 7-7 seven, seven construct, they target it with a removal spell Next turn, you drop Monument, and you have seven three threes. Insane. Very, they work together very, very, very well. Now, our last colorless creature is a bit of a... I wish this card was one mana less, because I think if it was... It, they could have printed this at one mana less, and it still probably wouldn't see that much play, but it would see more play, um, because 
it didn't need to be a five mana card. Wandering Archaic is a five mana four four. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, they may pay two. If they don't, you can copy the spell. So it's a really nice taxing card. It's very good against um, control. You'll see in one of the games that it literally won us the game. Um, and the backside, you know, if you're desperate, you can search for an instant or sorcery. Um, each player gains three life. Yeah, but it's kind of for both for both parties. Again, they didn't need to do it like that. They could have just made it a three mana search at sorcery speed. You know what I mean? Um, but cool card nonetheless. I, I love the art and everything. It's so sick. Uh, your mana base. Now with your mana base, because you have Forsaken Monument, you want at least probably eight colorless lands. Like I should probably go down a swamp or two and add some more colorless lands. But at the same time, remember, if you're playing Blood on the Snow, you need snow-covered swamps as well. So that's why why my snow-covered ratio is quite high and why I don't have, perhaps have as many colorless lands. If you play a different color deck, like a mono-blue version, you would play more colorless lands because you don't need snow lands for Blood on the Snow, right? The rest of the deck is pretty straightforward. Duress uh, for against control, some removal, a couple of meat hooks. Color power word kills, you know how it is. Oh, we're also playing a Mukatai Soul Ripper because it's an artifact that triggers the automaton. Uh, if these guys all disassemble, you have a lot of fodder for the Soul Ripper. This 3 3 gives your Soul Ripper a lot of fodder as well. So the deck, it actually fits really well in the deck. Um, yeah, the deck was fun. It's, it's definitely been fun. Um, some of the games are really cool. Very satisfying is playing new cards, right? Cards you'd never see getting played together. Um, feels good. That's what. That's why us content creators love doing what we do because you get to play new cards, test them out and show you guys if they're a meme or not. And is this a mon monumental meme? You will see in the games. Uh, thank you all so much. I'm at 120 probably subscribers now. You guys are absolutely killing it. I'll get around to the giveaway very, very soon. I've just had... I'm so tired. Like, I've been just been doing overtime at work and then trying to do videos as well so i'm a bit knackered uh, but thank you guys so much for all the love so far uh it's been incredible and um when when i get up to maybe a thousand i'll step back from work and i'll start making videos full time so you'll be able to see a lot more of the aussie you know what i'm saying so it's gonna be good all right let's get into the games i'll see you in the matches peace out Cool, we got the monument. Let's go. I play land. Go. Dan. Ah, oh, come off it, man. Freaking aggro bitch. Go. Play something that I want to decimate right now. Do it. I will decimate you, Battle Cry Goblin. Goodbye. Get out of here. Go cry to your mum. Alright. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Mend up! Draw me a card. Here comes Kamano. Here comes Land 3. Here comes Stormseeker. Oh, it's a battery. Okay. You gonna attach it? Sure. Alright, we get to maybe draw into our next land here. Let's just hope. Next land. Next land. Come on. My god, it took them so long to just click OK. Like, are you dense? Um. Oh, if we get to five lands, we're looking real good. <laughs> Archaic could just, like, surprise the shit out of them. I'm going to wait to cast the, cha the companion. If we draw fifth land, we are in the absolute zone, baby. We're in the zone. Thundering Raiju. Arnie. Base power to one plus the greatest power. So it's going to be four. Right. Who do we want to kill? Arnie, I suppose. Go away. <laughs> just not even go to combat. Just, just go away. Goodbye. I'll take three. 
Come on, monument. Yes! This is what we came to see. They're like, what is this? What is this nonsense? That's a monument. Oh, they're getting aggressive. Oh, shit! Okay, it could be the nuts. It's gonna be a 6-6. Six, six. Or we just go for the companion. Access tunnel's not bad. Oh, we can just blood on the snow. But I have no creatures, so I'm gonna... Archaic, I think. Or I can do this. Nah, let's go to the Archaic. We haven't really played it yet. I gained some life, too. Now they have to pay lots for their instants and sorceries. We should be able to copper trade here. And if we do, the blood on the snow brings it back. Okay, that's great. That's scary. Blood on the snow looks so good! We drew another one as well. Actually, should I just attack? Let's go. Take six. Take six. You're scared. They're like, uh... <laughs> Will they just scoop? Take six. Blood on the snow. Destroy all creatures. Oh yeah. I'll take my thundering, my wandering archaic back. Thank you. The ability is sort of relevant here against red. What are they going to do? How do you kill this? When, they, when we play the companion, they'll probably just scoop. Two, three, three bodies. And two life. Yeah. Attack for six. This is the way the deck's supposed to work. This is how it's supposed to work. I mean, what do you even do at this point? What does this thing do? Oh, it turns them both into four threes. That's pretty cool. It's not a bad ability at all. But we can just trade here. Trade here. Or we can just attack back for lethal, right? Right. We win. Boom, boom. It's risky, I know, but... This is lethal. Whoa, whoa! Get out of here, bitch! Monuments! The monuments! <laughs> oh, feels good. Feels good. Monument duress? I like it. Shit, we need removal, don't we? That nah, would be fun. Right? Right? Don't be creatures. Wait, no, I kind of want it to be, but I don't. Ooh, fuck. Uh, how are we going to resolve this fucking monument? Man, I almost just want to scoop looking at this hand. taking that because I want them to incentivize them to use memory deluge. Let's take out their hive. There's something to do. Don't know why people always do that. And they never even use the mana anyway. So it's super pointless. Let's 
Search Light Companion. Let's see if they play their Dwyer Disruption here. Please? Damn. Bank Buster, sure thing. Let's go Mukata. Take two. Now, I mean, if we resolve the monument, it's going to be so hard for them. Okay, well, that gives me a glimmer of hope. Do we go for the monument? I'm going to say yes. Screw it. We came here to do a job. We're going to do it right. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes! That is how we do. All right, let's get in for a bit of extra damage here. Or... Nope, we're going to save it um, for after a board wipe. We'll play the automaton and then crew it straight away with the ripper. Oh yeah, down to 12. Alright, now we just need to draw a hive. Here comes the deluge. Or a bank buster. Nah, it should be the deluge, right? Yeah. I don't see how they remove the monument. Should be pretty hard to get rid of for blue-black. Man, I really need a hive or a deadly dispute just to keep up. Okay. Man, I would love a hive. Come on. Draw a hive, please. I can has one hive. Oh, one of my lands. To do that. Okay, that's not it. Let's just attack. And take it again. I mean, they're living risky. I'll give them that. They're living life on the edge of a knife. If we had a hive, it would be game over here, I'm pretty sure. Because if they sweep the board now, we attack in for four next turn. So yeah, if we had a hive, it would be game over. Okay. Meat hook. Doing meat hook things. What? Seems good. Gain two life. Play a massive threat. They only have two mana, so I'm pretty sure they can't counter it. Unless they're playing like a stupid as fuck spell. Alright, let's screw up. And now they, ca they can't... Um, no. No. They can't, because of the archaic, they can't play an instant or sorcery because then I would get to copy it. And now they're at four, so they have to deal with something now. But the problem is, I can get in next turn, if this Soul Ripper goes back down here, I can automaton, crew it, get in for menace damage. So let's just see how they remove this archaic. They've got to pay two. They have to pay two. You want to pay two? Sure thing. Okay. Four mana left. To play, I oh know they can still play another hero's downfall here. 
Wow. If they draw here, they're gonna lose. No, okay, that's fine. Let's see if I draw removal. Oh, come on, man. You know what we're actually gonna do? What we're actually gonna do is blood on the snow. Oh, do we win? Hells yeah, we win. Destroy all creatures. Hey. Yeah, we got the win again. Forsaken Monument is an absolute beast, man. And Wandering Arcade was actually really good in this game. Tap, tap, stole their mana. Now we bring it back. Now let's bring back the Companion. What's the crew? It's, I think it's one, so it's fine. We bring back this so we can crew and then sacrifice a creature. Crew. It doesn't even matter. Crew you. You. Yes. Attack for lethal. Yeah, boy. We done did it again. We done did it again. The deck can win games. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I mean, Monument is just like... It's a bit of a beating, really. And Wandering Archaic just taxed that control opponent. It made them lose the game because they had to pay all that all that mana to remove it in their own turn. So then they didn't get enough uh, mana to make other players. So I would say the Archaic won us the game. Interesting. Oh, this is a cool hand. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. The Construct. <laughs> when have you ever seen this card played? It's really good with Forsaken Monument because when it splits into, you know, a number of 1-1 one, one Construct creature tokens, they all get buffed by the Monument. And that's just sick. It's such a threat with Monument. Okay, don't kill my Shambly boy. Nice. Land. Very nice. Let's see if we can just slam Monument straight away. Ooh. Little piece of crap. I don't really care about him. Let's just do the thing. Monument. 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 Damn. Never lucky. Never ever lucky. Let's just play this, say go. We're, we're in no rush here. Absolutely no rush. They're probably gonna play, what, wedding announcement? Katilda? That's fine. What do we kill it right now? No, we can wait. Um. Let's kill it and then hold up dispute to, to draw. Then we'll play our construct. I really want to hit that bloody. Whatchamacallit. Are you playing mono white enchantments? With a Runeforge champion? I'm very confused. If they grab the lifelink rune. Nope. Okay, they're just drawing all their white. Which is funny. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm gonna kill that. Not now though, you can have some damage. If I draw a monument, I think I'll just out life gain them. Never never lucky. Absolutely never lucky. Alright, construct it is. Ooh, I can kick it. Each non-basic. Oh, shit. Screw it. Let's do it. We got heaps of mana. <laughs> Big boy construct. What are you going to do? Nothing, I tell you. Um, okay. That's a lot of blockers. That is a lot of blockers. Am I... 
Um, am I cooing here? Don't want to get in for some damage. Sort of. Um. Then they get in for a lot of damage, right? So let's say no. Let's see if they target it here. What will they have? Seriously, is it time to start attacking with the cave? You looked at the cave, I was like, what are you doing, bro? Alright. Sure thing, pal. That's a 6-6. Six, six. Ah! That's a big boy! Big doggo. Alert. Alright. That thing has to die. So we're going to go... We're going to have to eat some of that damage. That's too much damage. We'll go to nine. Okay, let's play the Barons. Let's pop this little idiot. And let's play you. I hate Machigo's Reign of Truth. It's such a, like an, a stupid card. That's a 6-7. Will they have Trample? The answer is probably. Oh my god, that's lethal. Of course they had the runes that pile on like massive amounts of damage, right? Whew, if we draw deadly dispute, we're probably going to win. That's the good thing. Brother Warp Phoenix, look out. Gemly boy! Deadly dispute, deadly dispute, deadly dispute. Simic colors? Sure. Man, that was a long thing, wasn't it? It's a fading hope, by the way. Can't hit it. Can't hit the automaton with it. Delva. Green, blue Delva? What the hell is going on? Ah, uh, 2-2 two -two automaton. We attack through this all day. I mean, they could be playing. They could have a Tamiyo safekeeping. Oh my god, they do. Or it could be a snakeskin veil. They're gonna save it. Oh, they're feeling cheeky. Misses the transform. Man, it's gonna hurt if I meat hook that Delva. Oh, please make that your only play. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, so what are we going to do? I think we're just going to go like this. Could meet hook for two, but I don't want to kill my automaton. And they can only protect one, so... Just go like this. See if they scoop it up. They probably won't. They can protect one of them, right? Yeah. So that was why I was thinking about doing it for two. But I wanted to keep my automaton. 
because our board pressure is still pretty good here, and I can play Monument next turn. Getting in for four as well. They're down to 12 already. See if they can flip it. They still can't. And they're only on two lands. Okay, three lands. Are they playing full, like, Magecraft? Like, do they have that 2-2? Two -two? That has Magecraft, whatever it's called. The green one. It's called something. They've got a Stowaway. And I think they've got a Fading Hope still. If it's a Spell Pierce, I'll cry. Maybe we should test the waters first. So maybe we'll go like this. There's Stick. I'm going to decline here. They are going to take it out. Okay. Maybe they just thought it was too oppressive. But do we play right... I think we just... I don't think they have a spell pierce. I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah, boy! That's a 5 5 automaton and a big old monument. Oh, how good is the animation? It's beautiful. Alright, what have we got in the bin? Shandling Ghast. Storm Tracer Drake. One mana up. Oh, that's beautiful. Get in there. Take five. We can power... What have we got? Four. Five, six. We can't power it up twice a turn yet. We have a blood on the snow though. So if the game ever gets away from us, I think we're set. They can draw a lot of cards right now. If they have them. Wow, okay. Okay, they want to attack. That's just insane to me. That's a field. Alright, now we can pump this twice a turn. Can't we? Oh, we can't attack with it though. Let's just go for an attack with it. It's an automatic 662. Oh, that's fucked. Alright. Uh, they can't deal with both. Yeah, I had a feeling one of their cards might be something like that. It's good for protecting the Drake, but that's why they shouldn't. Oh, they're in a tough spot here anyway. They go to one. Our Barons is going to just grow so much. Whoa, what is happening here? That's interesting. They're playing suit up. Alright, they need to hit something good here or they're just going to get smacked. Another storm chest. So they're going to start Chump City. Oh, wow. Wow. That's what I thought. Yeah, boy. Getting them W's. Old mate Nolly. Alright, come on. Monument in the opening hand. Okay, that's pretty much just as good. We get the combo. Let's hope it's not a turn one Blood Chiefs first, then we're all good. Monument, monument. We draw into monument, we got the gas. Face? Okay. Face is the place. Let's get this done. Give me a treasure. Let's see if we hit monument straight away. No. 
Are we ever going to hit Monument? I don't even know. I'm just going to play out the circuit mender. Yeah, it's not worth using those treasures. Circuit mender. Uh, we can play Soul Ripper next time. We can hopefully Blood Chief something here. Hmm. Oh, there's a Myriad Construct. Let's play you. Um, and let's Blood Chief's one of these little tokens. So we can start getting in for some damage. Here we go. This Construct, hopefully... The good thing about the Construct is if it dies and turns into four one ones, then we and we get to boost it with the Monument, then they're just four three threes, right? Magic Missile? Interesting. Okay. It's a card that never... You would ever think it would even see standard play. Same with this, though. Who the hell is playing Myriad Construct right now? I'm probably the only one in the whole planet. There goes a Circumender, but we get a card. We get to learn, but we get a card. Come on, Monument. Monument now. Monument right now. Monument now? Uh. Alright. Patchwork. Soul Ripper. Trigger. Attack for four. Take four. A monument wins us this game. Straight up. Can't pay the ward cost, friends. Might be able to now, but... What's the crew? It's two. Awesome. Okay. Four mana. They might look to get rid of the automaton. It's a pretty big threat against a red red deck that deals damage to kill its creatures. If we outscale it, I mean, it can just get out of hand. They're looking at the Soul Ripper, though. What do they do? We're going to target the Construct so it turns into some 1-1s. One Fair cool. And my turn. Now we have now we have Sacrifice Fodder for the Ripper as well, which is really cool. Wow. Okay, so we're going to play our Apprentice. Take you to a 3-3. Three, three. We, we might even use... Uh, We're going to power up the Barons defensively. So let's through you. Keep you back in case we draw a monument. Um, are we going to sack one? I don't even think we need to. If we just keep this board massive, how can they win? Right. Oh, no. Let's, let's sack you and put another counter on the automaton. Now we're attacking in for a whole lot more. That a chump seems really, like, good. Man, this Soul Rip is going to threaten to end the game, like, next turn. So they need to clear the board and deal with the automaton. So if they ever burn down the house, that's the best way they stay in the game. But we also have a Crawling Baron, so we're looking super strong here. Myriad Construct coming in clutch there. Absolute clutch. Why have I got full control on? Ah, not you. They're going to pass? And make... The, okay, they want to take out the Soul Ripper. Uh, that's a weird attack. I'm very concerned. <laughs> okay, deal with two. Scoop. Okay, sweet. Nice. That was a good game.
I almost that almost makes me want to put in another myriad construct because that was just sick. Okay, cool hand again. Let's get the black on the field. What are we playing against? We think. Oh god. Could you just you know be a bit more original, please? I suppose everyone's trying to climb. But do you need to? Like, just play some new decks, man. Ugh, that's disgusting. That's a no for me. Let's make them... Ooh, is it the Mender? It's actually the Mender. Because if they remove it... If they remove it... We... We could draw a card. And we're going to need to draw lands big time. That's good for us. Real good. Are they going to attack? No. We could meet hook for one. And it's real good. I think we do it. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Catch later. Attack in. Take two more. Let's see what they go for here. The, they're both really bad targets for creature removal, right? Yeah, and they're going to try to hit one of them. Please please target the patchwork. That would be hilarious. Okay, I'll draw a card anyway. To land. Beautiful. Oh, that is dope. Let's do it now, I think. And these are perfect for Deadly Dispute, right? Do we wait? I think we wait. We play you. This goes to a three. We might even get in with the patchwork here. It's just a really... It's, it's going to get out of hand very soon. Let's see if they go straight for the attack. Oh, baby. That word kill. Okay, I think they have an emperor. I'll take that. I'll take some life back. And some more life back. I'm just going to block here. Because if they play emperor and put a counter on it to kill it, I'm okay with that because I draw a card. Nope, it's going to be a chump. Board's looking really strong. Interesting play. But let's go with... In. 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 Awesome. Play another companion. Hold up dispute. And then hopefully we dispute into a Forsaken Monument to finish the game strong. Another Cathar, sure. Let's see what they target. Target you. Nah. I'll draw three cards, thanks. Two, three. Where's my monument? I need my monument. There's a last resort. <laughs> um, let's start. Oh, we can't really do much now, can we? With the Valk mirrors on the field. Plot on the snow is not great. This is going to deal three. So we can take out either one. But maybe we just keep it. I think we just keep it. We hold. We play the Shambling Ghast. Oh, so end turn. If we draw a monument, it's all over. But we just have to draw it. Myriad Construct will be sick too. 
It's an apparition, sure. More incentive for me to wipe this board. But not yet. Meat hook. Okay, that's an interesting one. I've got another one. <laughs> uh, feels good. They can't do much. I've just clogged this board up big time. Another one. Doesn't help me. This is fine, man. I got options for days. They have to play more onto the board, yeah. I'm gonna meat hook this board this turn. No, yeah, don't, 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 don't with the initiate. Please, you play right into my hands. If he attacks with the initiate there, it's gonna outgrow my meat hook for three, and I'd have to kill my own automaton, but this is working out really well. So let's go like this. I think. Do we need to? Yeah, we need to. Just because they've got... Um, Just cause they have... <laughs> They're like, why is this happening to me? I'll take a treasure. Purely because they had two Cathars, and if they flip both of them, they would take all of our creatures, right? And this way, we grow you to a five. And they're in big trouble. They need a lot to go right to win the game. They need removal for the five five. Straight up. Wow, really? Okay, that tells me we're looking at a... Tells me we're looking at an Emperor. Here it comes. Finally, I'm home. Alright, I'm going to take out this Emperor big time because it's going to slow us down. Lose some life. Destroy all planeswalkers. Okay. Goodbye. I'll take a... Ooh, a Mender. Still got two sweepers. Ooh, that's good for them. Go and play some stuff out. Please? Scoop! Yeah, boy. Nice. And we're back for the wrap. And as you saw, I mean, the deck is pretty much a meme. We need more artifact support. And the shit thing is, Construct and Monument are going to rotate now anyway. So, I mean, these cards have been dead for four sets, you know, which is really an injustice done by Wizards. They should have... They could have printed some better stuff, but... I mean, I suppose, you know, in the, in the sets before Kamigawa, they could have printed a few better artifacts, you know what I mean? Because we only just got these, and even they don't make the deck... They don't push it over the edge. We really need a bit more support... Um, in artifacts, but yeah, like I said, in standard Forsaken Monument and Construct are going to rotate soon, so it's like, eh, too little, too late. But you got to see the Monument action. Tell me if you liked the video down below. Tell me if you love Monument like I do. I fucking love Monument. It's such a sick card, uh, but we just don't have the support. Uh, if you stuck around till the end, you're one of the very few who do. Like on all creators' videos, sticking to, to around till the end is something that we... You know, that people just don't do because, you know, um, there's so many videos on the internet. I don't blame anyone. Uh, but if you do stick around till the end, let me know in the comments below. And you get a special shout out from me because I love you so much and you're a legend. Um, until next time. It's been fantastic having you guys and have a good one. Peace out.